Ladies, how are we? Good, good. how are you doing? Good, good, thank you, good. Uh, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, I feel like there's only one place to start, and that is with the real star of the show, Reaper the Cat. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, so I've got, a, I've got a cat, and I'm not a huge fan of, like, hairless cats, but I have to say, he's changing my, he's changing my mind. I know. Um, I, it's all right. How do, you, how do you sit on hairless cats now yourself? Because he, he's, he's I'm actually allergic to cats, so when we started production, <laughs> I was like, hey, I didn't tell you guys this, but I'm literally allergic to cats, and I don't know if it's their hair or if it's their, like, saliva that I'm allergic to, but I think I'd probably still be allergic to a hairless cat. Um, and so they ended up letting me have a private meeting with Reaper, who I think was actually named Draco, and uh, we kind of just, like, you know, sat with each other for a little bit to see if I was going to die. You had a chemistry <laughs> test. We had a chemistry test, and it went well. I didn't die afterwards. Um, I did get a little sniffly, so when we were actually on set, I just had a very limited amount of time with Draco, but he was so, so sweet, and um, I was a little scared of him, but not because of him, just because cats kind of weird me out. I'm much more of a dog person, so uh, I really had to pull out my acting chops there and act like I was super comfortable with this being that I'm not used to. <laughs> you did very well, you did very well. Thank uh, you. This is a, a huge movie and a huge undertaking. How much of a calming influence is working with people like Charlize and Kerry and a few other people because they've done these big movies before? Mm -hmm. And for you guys as, as young actors, how, how calming and how reassuring were they in terms of helping you do your, do your job in the movie? I don't know that they were like calming and reassuring in any way. I think it was just like, well, they're a part of it, so it's gonna be good. Mm, yeah. Like, there's no way that this is not, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was kinda like, well. I think there's a calming element of knowing, like, when your scene partner knows what they're doing, you Yeah, know? that's what I mean. Like, yeah. they're in it, it's gonna be good. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. But even just, like, the, on, the moment on set of, like, wow, like, this is going to be a really interesting scene. Like, I'm going to be challenged, and that's always so exciting. And I even felt that way with Sophia Ann as well. Like, every day going to set, I always felt like I was going to be challenged with, like, the different uh, choices that you were going to make. It was never going to be boring. So it was very calming in that sense, for sure, because it was like, uh, yeah, I knew it was going to be good. Exactly. I just spoke to Paul, and he's always so, so well-dressed, so I have to ask, is there ever a day when he comes to set and he was in sweatpants, or does Absolutely he just have this not. cavalcade of mm -mm. just the best wardrobe I've ever seen in my entire life? I've never seen Paul not in a suit. I'm sure he sleeps in, like, a suit. Like, I, I think cannot... he sleeps in, like, like the schoolmaster's outfit. <laughs> yeah, like a beautiful unison robe type <laughs> yeah. of situation. Yeah. <laughs> or pajamas that are, a, a, like, a suit itself. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, silk yeah. pajamas. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I, I want to see him in sweatpants one day, uh, one premiere or one one event that I ever see him. I interview. He's just did like a hoodie and, and sweatpants. I think the long. day Paul Feig wears. That'd be a bad day. <laughs> yeah, the day he wears sweatpants, I think would be like a sign of the end of the world. Like, I can't. I truly yeah. cannot envision it. I feel like yeah. he definitely wore a suit during the pandemic every day as well. Because I had a meeting with him at the beginning of the pandemic, and he was in a suit. Love that man. Yeah, yeah there's, no, uh, there's no sweatpants for Paul in the lockdown. <laughs> uh, guys, congratulations on the film again. Thanks so much for your time. Hope it goes well for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!